So today we're going to put a ceiling in and fit some LED lights. So I refitted the insulation and the vapour barrier around the fan. So now we're going to put some of these battens across the roof and then clad it the same as this. That's the battening up to put the cladding on. Not gone into it in great detail because we did it in the, the last video when we put the cladding on the walls. And now we're going to run some cabling through for the LED lights. Right, so that's some of the wiring put in for the lights at the back of the van. Just held on with these little self-adhesive wire clips. And then they've got a little bit of you know, foil tape just to hold things in place. But all this is going to be held in place with the, the ceiling when that goes on anyway. Let's go Mine's back. roughly in the middle. <laughs> roughly? Yeah. Roughly all day, aren't it? My arms aren't aching anymore. How's yours? <laughs> go away. That's the first bit of the ceiling in. So the internal section of the fan will fit over top of that, so it all looks pretty. So I've not been in from work long, uh, but the clocks have changed, so we've got a little bit lighter nights. So that means we're going to be able to work on the van on an evening. So this is the stage that we're currently at. We've got the roof panels in in the middle. But these next ones now, we need to cut some holes in for the LED spotlights. So these are the LED puck lights that we're using and they've got a 54mm diameter there. So I'm going to use this 57mm hole cutter, which is the closest that I've got. But that should give us a little bit of clearance to get the lights in. So I've measured up where I want the holes to go. And then flip it over. That way we should get a cleaner gut. I'll clean them up a little bit. A little bit of sandpaper. So the trick now is to try and get this in and feed the wires through at the same time. Well, that's what I'm guessing anyway. I've never done this before. Now before we put any more of the panelling on, we're going to get the wiring in and just check that the lights work okay. Alright, so we're going to be wiring these lights up in parallel. So that means red goes to red, black goes to black, and then the same connections go on the LEDs. So I'm going to crimp these two wires together with one of these connection terminals. Oops. Get that in the crimping tool. That's that one connected and it's just the same for the black one and then we do that around all the lights. Got a pro sparky in for this one, look. I'm not saying that one here, I like the cute one. Red to red. You press record this time. <laughs> Take two. Right, so this is the last of the four lights for the bedroom area. So they're just dangling at the moment. All connected up. Just put this little switch in for now. Um, we have got a dimmer switch, but I've not worked out how to wire that in yet. Right, so here's the moment of truth. Let's get that plugged in. Turn that on. 
Turn it on. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, Yay! Works. Well done, babe. We have light. We can work now in the van. They're quite bright, them. Gonna do with them last night, can't we? Yeah. Happy days? Yeah. So we've put a little bit of electrical tape just around the terminals. I'm gonna see if this can clip in okay. So they have to push right back, I believe. Yep. Well, let's get rid of them wires first. I'll take my fingers off. Yeah, harder than it looks. Yeah. Then. Oh, they look good. Happy? Yeah. It's good, that, isn't it? Yeah, really good. There we go. There's no end to your talents. So if you're enjoying the video, then please do me a massive favour and hit that thumbs up button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you do enjoy this kind of content, then make sure you subscribe and that way you won't miss out on future videos. So I had yesterday off, but after work today, I've um, rewired the lights again. So I've worked out how to wire the dimmer switch. There's a positive and a negative goes to the power supply and then a positive and negative to the actual lights in parallel. I just followed the instructions on the diagram really. <laughs> I've got some tidying up to do though because I've had to add some extra wire in. So these were originally connected up here. So I've had to cut this in, add this extra wire down to the switch. And then from the switch, this wire goes all the way into the light system. In hindsight, if I wired the switch through first before the lights, I wouldn't have had to add this extra bit in. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. We go for off to dim to bright. Dim it down again. And the same with these ones. That's off, lowest, and then on full. That's what the switch looks like, so I might need to push this back a little bit when it comes to fitting it. So at the moment, everything's still powered up with a jackery, which is a great bit of kit. But I think next job on the list is to fit the proper electrics. So I'll just tidy up this wiring and then finish off the roof. And I'll see you next time when I fit the electrics, fuse box and all that gubbins. You're saying bye without me? You're saying bye? Say bye. <laughs>